Caesar, 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 Leo, Leo, Leo. Now, so this is the how to series which I introduced in the last video. So, um, I was talking about how to series, how it's done. It's basically about how you do it. Like, you know the saying, it's not really what you do, it's, it's, it's how you do it. And you also know, people always say you're going to be addressed how you address. You're going to be addressed how you address. So when I wore my Superman costume to a business meeting, they didn't quite like it, but yeah. But you know, basically, it's about how you do what you do. How, that's what's going to stick in people's heads. Remember I told you about uh, me introducing myself. I could come to you and be like, my name is Cesar Mizuki. I'm a music executive. I'm a content creator. Or I could be like, Hello, I create content for the music and the media industries. My name is Cesar Omezuki. It kind of sticks more. It's about how you do it. It's kind of like asking a girl out, you get me? She already knows you want to ask her out, but it's how you do it that will decide if she's going to get with you. Now, that's how building a brand is. So, how do we build a brand again? The first thing you've got to check is, um, I call it the brand triangle. You get the brand triangle. Whatever happened to them, Illuminati days and music and that. Okay, yeah. So this is the brand triangle and you, your person, you're on top. Don't come out right. Okay, whatever, yeah. You're on top. You're, this is you. This is you. And what's that about? It's you need to understand who you are. You take your, maybe get a piece of paper or something. You get your strengths, you get your weaknesses and you take your weaknesses, fold them up and shove them up someone else's butt or you outsource them to someone else. Then your strengths, you say, all right, what am I really good at? Who am I? What's my truth? What's my message? Um, why am I doing what I'm doing? That's where you really find out who you are. Or you can even ask your friends, like, what do you think about me? So you're going to define the kind of music you make. You might like rap, but you're actually better at dancehall. So if people prefer the dancehall part of you, so that's what I'm saying. You need to do a personal assessment of, of yourself to determine who exactly you are because it is who you are that you're going to send out to people so remember of the triangle the first one you really need to find out is who you are now when you've determined that you determine who you are the second of the triangle right the second of the triangle is who do people think you are remember what i said about branding it's not exactly what you're doing it's what people perceive of you it's what people believe you're doing that's what matters that what that's what creates a brand of you we usually say brand yourself before others brand you now i'm, I'm going to take um a couple of instances uh, some people let's say someone like charles okocha a lot of people believe he is the funny guy the comedian because if you ask me my denny my denny would be i'm an artist Adenine. i'm an mc Adenine. i'm a movie actor Adenine. i'm all around an in -in 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 but he actually his true passion is actually music his true passion is actually music. Got into acting to make it to the music. He got big in acting and he's a funny dude and the funny part of him started selling. So if I was to talk to him, if I was to, to advise him, I'd be like, you know what? Do funny music. You get me? Since you like to do music, do music, but you've already been branded as a funny dude, put that in your music. You get me? There's another celebrity over here. I'm not going to call his name. Um, He's naturally a comedian, but man likes to rap. And his rap is kind of funny, and people are not buying it. Listen, you need to find out who you are and exactly interpret that to people. So you ask, who do people think you are? You need to be able to translate your values to these people. Caesar, 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 Leo, Leo, Leo. So you need to be able to translate your values to these people because people will respond to you based on how they see you. People respond to you based on their perception of you. You get me? Which is why I debunk that fact that people think that branding is your logo and all of that. Now, it's how people see your logo, what people actually think you are. That is your brand. Triangle again, who you are. The second is who people believe you are. Really, really important. That's very, very important. People must believe your story. Now, two things every artist must be able to translate to their fans. One, you want them to believe your story. And two, you want them to want to be like you. You want them to believe your story. You want them to want to be like you. Because if they believe your story, they connect to it already and they believe you're, you're for real. You get me? Let's take Davido for instance. Davido came out saying, hey, I'm Obi, I'm my, my pops is loaded, you get me? So people believe that story, they believe that about him. And every man wants to be loaded, right? So they want to be like him. Let's take Whiskey for instance. Whiskey came with the story of grass to grace. Everybody knew about that. 
right? They knew he was talented dude in different studios trying to make it big and now he's whisked to the world. One of the biggest artists in Africa. That's the story. Every young kid wants to be like Whiskey. They believe his story, they want to be like him. So if you can achieve those, these two things from your fans, you're good, mate. So really, those people, you need to be able to translate your, what you're saying to these people who do they believe you to be. That's really, really important. And the third one of the triangle, who are these people? Who are these people? You really need to know that you can't please everyone. And that's the truth. You need to find your target audience, your target market. You're not going to um, perform rock for some people in some village in, in a village in Ijesha. It's not going to do anything for them. You get me? So you need to know people that you're really tar your target market. You need to know them. Caesar, 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 Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, so another thing, right, in, in how to brand yourself properly, you need to be able to share your values. You need to be able to share your values. You need to be able to show people what you stand for. There are lots of artists that keep putting out music back to back to back. They keep putting out music and they're just marketing their music. They're not, like I always say, marketing is about creating awareness. Branding is about creating value. Now, you keep putting out music. Yes, they see you, but they don't know who you are. So they, they, they really can't do anything with you. They see you in passing. People will actually stay and watch um, artists that they know do rubbish but they wouldn't stay to watch artists they don't know do wonderful music and that's the funny thing about it that's really the funny thing about it and what's the difference there you're not sharing any values if you share your values if you let out your values who you are they can actually connect with you let me let me tell you yeah your music is not completely your product you get me your music is not completely your product you... another day video for another time but right now let's stick to it yeah People need to exactly know who you are to connect with you and how to do that but when you share your values that's, who, that's when people actually get to know who you are when you share your values for instance Taylor Swift is not scared to talk about her relationship her breakups and all of that she's not scared to talk about that how does Burner Boy come across? he comes across being different he tells you I'm a non-conformist and I'm mad talented those are th things people know about him now I could call I could name a couple of artists I could name some names and why they're not banging so much because you don't know them that much you know their songs their songs hit for like two weeks then they burn out because besides their music you know nothing else about them now Billie Eilish is not scared to wear big clothes because she's trying to tell you I don't be stuck into the whole sexy thing so she's always wearing big clothes so people connect to that about her so they create an image of her which is exactly what she wants as an artist you, sh you should be able to create the image people see of you that's what gets you connected to them Caesar, 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 Leo, Leo, Leo. another way to brand yourself is to create your own lane to create your own lane when this whole area is choked up do you know what to get seen to get branding is all about getting noticed to get noticed you create your own lane you don't join them in that struggle now, for instance, Burner Boy again, when Burner Boy came out, the music was at a certain speed. But Burner Boy came out with Like to Party and slowed everything down. What's he trying to say? It's still showing one, that talent and two, that non-conformist, that I'm different, you get me? So people intend to notice you quicker. Caesar, 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 Leo, Leo, Leo. And today we're going to be talking about brand positioning, which simply means I did my own lane, like VRT, you get me? Yeah, so what is brand positioning? Brand positioning, that's like creating your own lane. It's simply establishing your identity in relation to competition. It's just one branch. I'm a bad guy. And because I'm a bad guy, you should like this video and you know share it with your friends. You can also comment. You can play. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so don't forget to like this video and also share with your friends. You could be helping somebody. And also if you're an artist, especially if you're an artist, comment, you know, let me know what's going on with you. I'd like to hear from you. Comment on these videos. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, send an email to Royalty Management International or a direct message to me personally. You get me? And we're gonna talk one-on-one. -on -one. Also, subscribe to get our videos every time we release a new one so you don't miss out on anyone.